Okay, this first question we got in on X, and the question is, would you spray fungicide on soybeans in dry weather conditions? No history of white mold. It's following corn, not thick foliage. Just wondering if there'd be plant health advantages over and above just white mold control. Yes, there are. Um, with corn, I, I, let's put it this way. With corn, maybe at V5 to V7, I might still do that. I would not do that at tassel time. We have not found that that works in our geography because we don't have the harmful diseases, at least at this point. And in dry weather, it just hasn't paid for us at tassel time in corn. In soybeans, though, even in the dry years, it still ends up paying. And the, the thing is this. Corn needs moisture early in the spring. Soybeans, they really need their moisture late in, the, late in the year. August rains make beans. That's been the old saying for years and years in our geography. And so the thing is, we want you to pull the trigger usually in late July. I, I get that we're pushing it right now. I, I don't know. Maybe at this point it might still pay. But a lot of times we spray in late July. We don't know if we're going to have rain in August or not. And even if the beans don't look amazing in July... Sometimes we have amazing yields when we get rain in August, and then if we have the rain in August and didn't spray the fungicide, we have more disease. But either way, we do get plant health benefits.